the question of what has changed over the last 50 years or so is just astonishing when you think about it. It's sort of pretty much everything has changed. You know, when I started programming, let's call it in 1965 or something like that, I used Fortran and we used punch cards. Remember punch cards? You guys have never seen punch cards. I've seen a picture <laughs> Sorry. of a punch card. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and that summer I spent at MIT in 1966 was a revelation because they had time sharing. That is, there was a central computer and you accessed it from various kinds of remote facilities, some of which even used the phone system. So in effect, it was the early cloud. cloud computing. Yeah, right, totally. exactly. But when I went back and finished my degree at Princeton, um, it was still Fortran and punch cards in 1969, and computers were expensive. I mean, literally millions of dollars. The computer I used there was an IBM 7094, and it cost multiple millions of dollars. It lived in a huge air-conditioned room, and it was exceptionally slow, probably a million times slower than computers today. It had tiny memory, what, 64K, no, 32K, 36-bit words or something like that, really, really but physically huge. But Moore's Law came to the rescue, right? Uh, things sort of get better. Let's call it every 18 months, give or take. Uh, things get twice as good. And so in 15 years, that's a factor of a 1,000. In 30 years, it's a factor of a million. 45 years, it's a billion. And we're nearing 60 years from when Gordon Moore made his comments about doubling back in 1965. So smaller, cheaper, faster, better, exponential. And that's what makes a lot of this stuff go. Mm -hmm. It's why you and I can have a conversation, even though we're scattered all over the place. Uh, and we all have these powerful computers and everybody is carrying an exceptionally powerful computer with them all the time. And it's connected to everybody else's powerful computer. So enormous amount yeah. is right. very different. <clears throat> is there anything that's the same? Is there anything that remains? You have maybe some fundamentals of coding or practices, anything that just has a through line from then to today? I think there are a lot of things that remain the same. Uh, one thing is probably just that our aspirations <laughs> always exceed our abilities. Right. You know, at, at some point, we, we, we need more memory or more speed than we have. It's hard to scale up. Uh, and so we still run out of resources or need that exponential growth to keep going, to keep up with what people want. Um, the other thing that, that really is the same is that people are the same. You know, we're, we're complete screw ups in a variety of ways. We make mistakes. We're slow. We're unpredictable in lots of different ways. So programs that programmers, even very talented programmers working hard, they make bugs in programs. The programs are often hard to change. They have clunky interfaces. And then, you know, most people are good, but there's always a collection of bad guys, and they're still very much with us at this point. But uh, interestingly, it's something that's different. The bad guys are far away, but can still reach out to touch yeah. us through things like the Internet. So, you know, a lot's the same as well as a lot of difference.